A procession for America's troops happened in our own backyard this morning. Elite Green Beret veterans met hundreds of motorcycle riders, and Scott Daniels was there. He joins us in studio to show us how hundreds of veterans pay tribute to their fallen brothers and sisters. Cherie, these are military members and motorcycle enthusiasts who rode from the Hoover Dam to the Southern Nevada Veterans Memorial Cemetery. There, they honored the nearly 26,000 military members buried at the cemetery. Now, about 1,500 motorcycle riders took off from the Hoover Dam today, many of them veterans themselves. They went to the cemetery where they listened to Green Beret Special Forces talk about their fallen brethren. I interviewed the organizer of the ride, the club president of the Legacy Vets and Vietnam Vets motorcycle clubs. He said this could have been the biggest showing in the 21 years of this ride. Here he is with what the procession means for the military. The vets that gave the ultimate sacrifice uh, for us to be here, to be able to do this, for you to be able to talk to me, uh, for us to just be here in America is, is what it's about. Coming up at 6 o'clock tonight, we will show you the reactions from overseas tourists, how they felt when they saw 1,500 bikers waving American flags to honor our troops. Here's a hint, they loved it. We talked with the, uh, this, uh, the cemetery's director yesterday. He says they are open all Memorial Day weekend for guests to come to honor our fallen soldiers. Back to you, Sheree. Scott, thank you. A procession of red, white, and blue to honor our fallen soldiers. Today, hundreds of veteran motorcycle riders took to Boulder City to pray for our nation's bravest. Scott Daniels shows us what this holiday means for this group. The water level is low at the lake, but patriotism and motorcycle rumbles filled the Hoover Dam. It was a ride to remember. Seeing all this here today on a day that is for veterans, it really gets you deep down, you know, it, it's, it's nothing else in the world like it. 1,500 motorcycle riders joined at the Hoover Dam this morning, the biggest showing for this Memorial Day event. I walked the whole, the whole pack and said hi to every single person, and uh, I'm going to guess and say there's probably about 80% of them are vets. The group rode a few miles to the Southern Nevada Veterans Memorial Cemetery. That was great, and we were very fortunate to be here on this day and see this kind of uh, beautiful uh, rally. Once there, they saluted, they prayed, and they honored the men and women who lost their lives serving our country in the military. Nearly 26,000 flags waved by the grave sites. Well, I was on submarines, so I used to, you know, go underwater, and it's, uh, it's actually a really good feeling. You know, you, you, you feel like you, you got, uh, you're doing something for yourself and for, uh, for other people, so it's, it's a really good thing. Many know soldiers who died in war. Many know the words to the Ballad of the Green Berets, all thankful for their service and the freedoms they fought for. Scott Daniels, 8 News Now. And we talked with the cemetery's director yesterday. He says they are open all Memorial Day weekend for guests to come and honor fallen soldiers.